Adam, what are you hearing overall from clients about the staffing challenges? Uh, they're not going away is one. Uh, <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, just with, you know, there were issues on a pre-pandemic basis, obviously, in terms of just new functionality. They were, they were just trying to do more with less, to be honest with you. I mean, the, the pool keeps getting sm smaller, but the demand keeps getting larger. Um, so, you know, when we're looking at a post-pandemic basis as of right now, I think QSR out of the whole restaurant industry is probably down the least out of all of them. I think fine dining and really kind of the tipped bar restaurants are, are still hurting pretty bad. QSR is kind of ramped up quicker than them, um, but still not back to, to levels seen pre-pandemic. So um, I, so what, what we have seen a lot is, is that has caused really a, a push of burden of just administrative tasks to the manager level. So when you think about restaurants, you typically think about crew people, you think about swing managers, but when in actuality it's, the GMs and the people beneath the GMs that are getting burnt out with it, just a ton of administrative tasks that are getting pushed down to them. And a lot of it's just due to just ramping up hiring efforts. And a lot of it's to terminate or just ongoing turnover of employees. So um, when you think about QSR that, you know, multi-store operators, it's employees being shared amongst multiple locations. So you have overtime tracking issues, ACA eligibility tracking issues. Um, in addition, just general wage and hour compliance issues associated with it. 